Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Welcome to this presentation on example Kafka probe and gateway configuration. The example environment uses two object servers which each are connected to by the message bus, probe and gateway. The gateway will be configured to write events to the Kafka server and the probe will read these events into another object server. This configuration allows both the probe and gateway configurations to be examined. The Kafka underscore in object server forwarded events to the Kafka server using the g underscore Kafka message bus gateway. The probe reads the g underscore Kafka topic populated by the gateway and inserts them into the Kafka underscore out object server. A heartbeating topic is read by the probe to ensure event reception. The Kafka server needs to have the heartbeating and g underscore Kafka topics added. These tasks are performed on the Kafka server as the Kafka installation user. The message bus probe's configuration only requires the transport type to be defined as Kafka and the payload as JSON for this configuration, with the transport file defining the source Kafka server by defining the Kafka transport files. The Kafka transport properties defines the mode and Kafka connection properties file. The Kafka connection properties file defines the host, port and topics to connect to, along with the Kafka client properties. The current version of Kafka does not require the Zookeeper client connections to be defined. A heartbeating script is used to confirm that the probe is connected and listening to the defined topics. The script gets the date and time and inserts this into the heartbeat event. The script can be run using cron or within a looping wrapper script. The probe's heartbeat login shows the date and time string along with a few fields that can be used to construct a read event in the object server if required. The Kafka gateway property file defines the transport type and the object server details along with the other gateway configuration files. As with the probe, the transport property type is Kafka. The Kafka transport properties file defines the mode and Kafka connection properties file. The Kafka connection properties file defines the Kafka host, port and topic along with the Kafka client properties file. The gateway writes to the g underscore Kafka topic. The Kafka client properties is used to define a unique client ID as well as other common properties. The transformers file defines the endpoint and XSL parser to use for the events. In this case, the netcall to JSON parser is used. The table replication file defines what event should be forwarded to the Kafka server. The poll field is used to filter events. For high event loads, it is possible to use multiple gateways to forward events. The best practice method is to use the server serial or serial as a counter and then mod this counter by the number of gateways. This results in an integer between 0 and 1 minus the number of gateways, which allows these results to be used as a filter in the table replication file, as shown. The insert underscore poll underscore event dot sh script is used to insert an event into the Kafka underscore in object server that meets the gateway's filter for event forwarding. In the debug log of the gateway, the insert event will be seen with the identifier and transformer name being logged. In the debug log of the probe, the g underscore Kafka endpoint is logged along with the identifier. The default JSON parser is used to process the event with the dollar identifier token holding the original at identifier value for the event. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.